Hello guys, Igor here, doing one more Epsomo review. Today analyzing Mythic, a tool that claims to automatically record, transcribe and share highlights of online meetings with your team. Mythic is an AI meeting assistant that lets you record, take notes and share call highlights. So you can maximize the effectiveness of your online meetings. So this is a kind of a bot that will join your Zoom meetings or Microsoft Teams meetings and they will transcribe your meeting and summarize it. So you will have, you will receive always automated notes and summaries of your meetings and then you don't need to, you know, take notes while you are on a meeting. This tool is pretty useful and the limits are pretty nice. They already have three positive reviews on AppSumo and the tier one, you get 40 hours of transcriptions per user monthly with two hosts. If you get more hosts, you are going to get also 40 hours of transcriptions per host monthly. So. Literally, if you get more codes, more hosts, so then more hours of transcription. But for most use case, the tier one will be enough. I'm planning to buy that tier, the tier one. And the language this support is language support in English, Portuguese, and Spanish. Okay, so let's take a look at the tool. As you can see here is the dashboard and the first thing you need to do is to you need to log in on your Zoom account or on your Microsoft Teams account and then the bot will join the meetings and they will transcribe it like that. I'm going to show you a transcription. You're seeing here an example an example of transcription. Here's the summary and clicking here on the right, you're going to get the transcripts. H here is the whole meeting. Okay. You click here to play. Sam, from, thank you for taking the time to watch this. You can also watch the meeting, uh, you know, hear the meeting uh, in two times, you know, faster like that. If you click here, you're going to go back to the summary. So as you can see here, Mythic automatically summarize the key points of your meeting. Okay. They do it automatically. You can see your agenda. Here's where the summary and transcription. You can also add highlights. Okay. And here are the insights where you're going to uh, see which kind of words uh, people use it more in the meetings and the sentiment, end of time, punctuality, participants were running late or they were punctual. Participation over time and silence rates. So percentage of silence moments in meetings, you're going to get it as well. So that's an example of meeting recording. As you can see here, you can see the video as well. Okay. Here on down right. Let's take a look on settings now. So you can give your uh, the name of your assistant name. So you can, for instance, call them Jarvis and Jarvis will uh, enter in all your Zoom and Microsoft Teams meetings and they will create the transcription with the notes and the summary. You can select the main language of your transcription. Okay, the main language that should be used by default when transcribing your meetings. That's the better way to, you know, uh, organize and, and have better transcriptions because you're going to select the language that people will, you know, use. For instance, uh, Spanish from, from Mexico. And you can also use alternative language. So if you know, happens that people are not speaking Spanish, uh, but they are speaking Portuguese. So the tool will, you know, recognize that they are also speaking Portuguese or in that meeting there are all those people are speaking Portuguese. 
So you click here and then you can use the alternative language. But by now, if you select only main language, the tool will work better. They have different kind of templates. That's the main one, the general meetings, but you can also have screening interview, topic grades interview and focused interview. About email preference, uh, you can choose which kind of email you want to receive from Mitchik as uh, with the notifications and I'm going to show you now the integrations. They have Zoom, Microsoft Teams by now. So you need to use Zoom or Microsoft Teams to record, transcribe and take notes. But if you're going to use another tool, you just you can just upload the meeting on Mitchik and I'm going to show you how to do that. They also have Google Calendars integration, Outlook, Google Drive, HubSpot, Slack, Trello and Zapier. On Teams is where you will create your hosts you know, and invite people to your to be your team member. Here on the workflows, you can you know connect Z uh, Slack, Trello, or Zapier to create a lot of integrations inside Mitchik to better automatize your process. Like a, an internals appear to create workflows and then, you know, automatize your process. Here you can create a template for your agenda. And also you have the possibility to create a custom dictionary with your own slangs and technical vocabulary as well. As I said, Midjik now works with Zoom and Microsoft Teams. However, if you want to use any tool to create your meeting, you only need to upload your past meeting here and Magic will do the job. I'm going to do it now so you're going to see how it works. So I'm uploading a video here and then I'm going to select the language. You can see that they have many language. Can you see here? So it's multi language. In that case, it's English. The number of speakers is one. And then you can choose here if you want to receive an email uh, with the subtitles, if you want to receive an email with the summary of your meeting, and you can also clean your transcript, removing duplicate consecutive words. When you finish the upload, you can see that the video here is being analyzed by Midjik, and then your transcription will be read uh, as app. So I hope you liked that review. In summary, you're going to use Midjik to transcribe and summarize your own meetings. I'm definitely going to buy one code of Midjik and I think it's a solid tool. And you, if you have a use case for that, you should not let it pass. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.